Hi guys, Laserbolt here, and I bought myself a 3D printer on Amazon. I uh, got the Sidewinder X1 from Artillery. I heard a bunch of good stuff about it and uh, kept hearing about uh, how high quality it is, especially for a 3D printer in the $400 range, and I thought I would go ahead and grab it. So yeah, I'm really glad I got this. Let's go ahead and get her out of the box and get her set up. There's a little bit of assembly involved here, uh, but nothing too serious. It's got some very nice, easy to follow instructions, which is always handy. All right, let's go ahead and take this gantry out of the box and put it someplace safe. The spool holders for the filament. A neat little bag with all kinds of tools and stuff in it. And here is the main unit itself with the uh, heated build plate on top. Ta da! And here are all the parts laid out nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and read the instructions and start putting her together. First thing you need to do is take the gantry, slide it into these slots, and then we'll take the nuts and bolts that are supplied here with a set of Allen wrenches. We'll go ahead and uh, slide these bolts in and uh, tighten them down and get this gantry secured. And now we'll do the other side. All right, now we attach the filament holder that'll hold the spools of plastic filament as they feed down through the extruder. Here we have the uh, filament sensor that detects if you run out of filament, it'll shut the machine down while you get more. And the fully assembled machine. Now I just need to plug in a bunch of ribbon cables and plugs and stuff like that. So she'll be ready to print. Let's go ahead and start plugging stuff in. All right, everything's all plugged in and ready to go. Uh, let's fire this beast up and see what she's got. Ah, look at that. Nice, beautiful looking, full color touchscreen display. Very handy. First thing we're gonna wanna do is level this bed. Of course, uh, you level all four corners. What you want to do here is you want to get the extruder as close to the bed as possible without actually touching it. So you use a piece of paper. Um, if the paper slides freely, it's uh, not quite good enough. It has to have a little bit of a grip on the paper, but not too bad. If you could still slide the paper around, but it grips slightly, it's good. So you check all four corners and uh, adjust them with the knobs that are underneath the corners there up or down and uh, you might want to do a couple laps because when you adjust one corner it uh, affects the other corners so you do it a couple times all the way around eventually it levels itself out and uh, you will have a completely level surface ready to print and here we have the handy little USB thumb drive that comes with the artillery um, it uh, has a couple files on there, the slicing software. Um, it also has a sample print that you can print out, a little cube. And um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get that loaded up and print it out and uh, see what happens. The extruder is already up to temperature. Now we're just waiting for the build plate. She 
is ready to go. Look at her hopping into action here. And here we are, she's all finished. Uh, it took about an hour to complete. Now we just uh, pry it off of the base here and clean it up a little. That doesn't look too bad. I haven't really done too many adjustments to it or anything. That's pretty much straight out of the box. There's lots of different things you can do that affects the quality and the speed of printing. I'm very new to this whole thing, so I've got a lot to learn. Yeah, this should be a neat little hobby. I'm very much looking forward to it. So that's the Artillery Sidewinder X1 for you. I'm pretty impressed with this whole thing. Pretty easy to set up and get running. I uh, got a lot to learn about the whole deal, but I think it's going to be great. Uh, I've got some big ideas. Can't wait to start printing some stuff out, so um, stay tuned.